Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be about shipping CGC books. I get a lot of questions all the time about how I ship mine, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to ship these bad boys. Uh, right here we got a Uncanny X-Men 221, first appearance of Mr. Sinister 9.4. I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, all the things that I use, are, you should have real easy access to. Honestly, I ship through USPS, um, all these, and I double box them. Bubble wrap, peanuts. Um, I've not had a single problem with a cracked case or a return. So let's go ahead and just go over to my ship station over here. And I'm gonna show you how to get this done. Okay, so here we are, we're at the ship station here. Now I'm gonna show you, I use two USPS boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. I'll show you which ones I use. And I'll also make sure to put a link down below of all the stuff that I use, um, including how to get these free boxes from USPS in order to ship. So, this is the outer box that I use, and this is a 1095. I don't know if you can see that right there, but it's a 1095 um, USPS priority box. Now, all these should be two pounds or less. Um, I've never had a CGC book that I've shipped so far that's went over, just a single CGC book, I should say, um, that has went over two pounds. So these all should go for about the two pound rate. Um, at the time of the filming of this video, it's probably about 1350 ish on the high end, uh, about eight, nine bucks on the low end to ship a two pound package. Um, depending on, I'm in California, that's me going to New York at the, at the furthest or just me shipping to California. So let's go ahead and get the inside box. And the inside box right here is gonna be the 10, 1092, okay, right here. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're going to put this, put the CGC book in this box and then put this box inside of this box. We're gonna double box it, okay? But before we do that, we gotta make sure this bad boy is protected. And to do that, we need bubble wrap. <laughs> now bubble wrap, you know, you can order online. Um, I get mine from American Bubble Boy. Um, you can also just get it from Staples, Office Depot, if you got, you know, some sort of uh, Uline account or something like that that you wanna use. Um, you can get it from there. What I like to do is I like to get a few wraps in. I don't just go once, I go probably about two to three times um, and I get a nice good cover. Now, this isn't gonna be the only thing where I'm gonna use packing peanuts as well. So it's not just gonna go be thrown in there and then that's it, but let's just give you an idea of what I like to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our tape gun. Now, one of the big things about shipping anything is protecting the corners, especially with CGC books, okay? Um, if they sustain a hard hit, these corners right here getting hit would probably be the first thing to chip or crack. Generally, um, nothing's gonna punch the front of the box um, during transit, especially if it's double walled and it has shipping peanuts and bubble wrap in front of it. But what I would be most concerned of is the sides. So that's why I like to, for this bubble wrap to kind of go over and create a little lip. And then what we're basically gonna do is kind of fold it in and it creates a little like, side protection for it too while it's inside that box. So I'm just gonna grab our tape. And we're gonna create that corner protection right there. And we're gonna do it again for the other side. Top sides. want to also like seal this down too it would probably be okay just to leave it how it is um but i don't know i'm just a little i guess maybe overprotective. but i like to seal that down too so like i said you get a nice good corner i've seen people ship cgc books with uh like pool noodles like the styrofoam ones that you get and they kind of put them on the outside it's basically kind of like what i'm doing i'm kind of creating that barrier on the side um i'm just using bubble wrap to do it uh i ship enough of these that I have bubble wrap around. I don't want to have to go buy pool noodles every single day. Um, so I just, this is the method I use. Okay, so let's get our box. So the inside box, like I said, is going to be the 1092. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build that. And all these boxes are free um, on USPS's website. You just have to ship it priority. That's the only caveat. 
Now for the internal box, you could put a couple of pieces of ta tape on here if you wanted to. I, I don't know. I don't think it's really necessary because I don't see this box slipping out at all. Um, but it's up to you. I feel like this adhesive right here works good enough for the internal box. On the external box, we will put some uh, tape down on all the corners just to make sure that the, the book doesn't, or uh, the box doesn't rip open. So as you can see, it fits in nicely. Okay, if you bring this to the top, it's gonna fit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add packing peanuts to the inside. Okay, I get my packing peanuts from uh, Office Depot itself. I get these uh, biodegradable ones right here. Uh, they're plant-based compostable Office Depot. Whatever ones you want to use is up to you. It's just the ones that, that we tend to use and I get a ton of different Office Depot coupons and stuff so it kind of makes a, a discount for me to buy them. And I don't use a lot of shipping peanuts in my packaging because I'm mostly shipping regular comics which is just in the Gemini mailer. So it's not like I need a ton of this around but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff the sides and the internals with the shipping peanuts here. And you want to get a good, good barrier built up. So I don't know if you can see it inside there, but basically we're building up another kind of layer of protection. So we got the bubble wrap, we're going to do the shipping peanuts, we have an internal box, and then we're going to have an external box. And like I said, I've shipped many, many uh, CGC books like this. Uh, High-end, low-end, all of them. Uh, they all kind of go this way. It's not going to cost you more than probably 13 bucks. And even if you had to, you could also use a flat rate box, uh, a medium flat rate box. This would fit inside of it if you needed to. So let's say you went up to three pounds, four pounds. Let's say you wanted to ship a couple more books. Um, you know, you could probably fit one more book inside here and then go into a flat rate if you wanted to. Though I wouldn't go past probably two books like this. Uh, just because you don't want to not have a barrier of protection if the you know box does get uh, sustain a hard hit. You don't want the uh, case getting cracked. You don't want the corners getting cracked, nothing like that. So we're just about there. Nice, good barrier. Okay, and then we're just gonna fold the flaps down. Take that off. We're gonna seal that. We'll set this off to the side. And then we're gonna build the outer box. The outer box, once again, 1095. Okay, that's the one we'll be using for the exterior. I believe they have another number, it's 1097. Um, that's a smaller box than these two. Do not order that one, because if not, you'll be putting a lot of stress on the top of your uh, of your book. So like I said, with the external, um, I don't just use the regular adhesive. I like to throw at least a piece of tape uh, on both sides right here, and a piece of tape across. So I do here and here, and then I do one long one. Just a little extra seal. And then we're just gonna place this box inside of here. It's gonna slide right in. You'll have a little uh, space right here. You have two options. Um, generally, because I'm in a rush, usually when I'm shipping, I like to just put some packing peanuts at the top right there. But you could also, you know, kind of cut it here and fold it over if you wanted to. I just kind of figure, you know, more protection is always the best. So I just put a few packing peanuts at the top right there. Same thing. Come over with this, seal it in, a few pieces of tape, and there you have it. Nice, secure, double boxed CGC book. It's going to take a lot to actually damage this thing. And like I said, also, this is going to stay right around the two pound mark. Let's see if we can, you can see that when zero it out. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says one pound, 13.5 ounces. So right under the two pound mark. So it shouldn't be more than 
eight to maybe like I said, 13, $14 um, at most, you know, about 13 50 at the time of the filming of this video. If you needed to, you could throw this, like I said, into a medium flat rate box, the internal box, not this external one. Um, and that would let you go flat rate also. So yeah, I hope this helps. Nice thing too about uh, shipping at USPS is that you are gonna get um, $100 of insurance. So take for instance, if it's a you know book that's $100 or under, it's also covered. So you don't have to pay for any extra insurance or anything. So hope this helps. If you guys have any other questions about any other shipping videos, just let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to make them and keep shipping those, uh, those comics out.